just to get one sentence out like they send one word per line or like stop sending me 50 million slack messages and just write a paragraph like I'll read it but hi good morning like are on two different lines quick question another line how was your weekend another like can we just put this all as one sentence but like stop sending people slack messages like that Please, I cannot stand it. It's annoying. I'm making it seem like I got 50 million Slack messages and you only want to say one thing. But anyways, good morning, everybody. Um, happy Monday. I hope you guys had a great weekend um, or whatever time you're watching this. I hope you guys are having a good day. Um, so today I'm just recording. I'm just like a... A daily work vlog for you guys. I, um, I'm just going to be picking up some stuff that I had last week. Um, I need to reach out to a few people to try and find this data. Um, I'm doing an analysis project um, to try and learn what my new team is doing. I'm doing an analysis on um, a project from January um, just to see how um, how the company performed and I'm um, one of the people that um, kind of like created some of like the metrics and um, created the ROI calculation for this particular initiative they have moved on to another team and I reached out to them and they're like hey I don't I can't give you all the data you need because it's in like a folder for that team and they no longer have access to it since they moved to another team so they told me to reach out to someone on their old team um, to get that data. So I need to reach out to them and send them an email today to see if I can get access to it. Because the when I reached out to them previously, all they did was give me access to the folder. But there's like a, a bajillion different things in there and I can't find it. So I'm going to reach out to them again and say, hey, um, can you give me the link or direct me to the folder that this specific um, document is in so I can look at how they calculated it um, how they calculated their ROI um, if you're not aware or ROI is just return on investment so if we're investing money in a particular initiative what is the return on that like did we make money um, did we improve performance whatever it is that we said we were going to do did we actually do it so that's what my analysis is like we put money into this we said we were going to do X, Y, and Z. Did we actually do X, Y, and Z or not? Um, this team did their own analysis and I got one of their like PowerPoint decks on how they came out, but I don't know how they count. Like it's just like a general summary. I don't know how they did the calculations because coming from reporting, you will find that a lot of people, the way they calculate stuff, it's not right. It's not the way that things should be calculated. Like a lot of people like to do that are not in reporting like to do calculations. Um, some people know like they will like make adjustments to make it to make performance look better than what it truly is. Which no, if we didn't improve, show that. Like I'm all, I'm all again. I'm all for show that y'all did you we put money in this and it was a waste of our money i'm all for showing that but people when they are the ones that have to speak for why we didn't improve they don't want it to look as bad as it really is but me like if i said put money in this and i am the one who effed up i'm gonna own up to it and show it but a lot of people i guess they don't want to do that so 
they don't want to show or the numbers to look as bad. Like, can we adjust the access on that pie chart or on that um, bar chart or that line graph so it doesn't look as if numbers took such a steep decline? Look, I'm gonna play those kind of reindeer games. We are gonna show it. That's how it looks. But you know, they'll go and do whatever. Like the leaders will go in and do whatever they want. But my point is from the deck that I was provided, it doesn't look like we did well. I like they're giving an ROI, but based on what? Because this isn't a particular metric where it's a money maker. So are you saying that we save this money? Because making money and saving money, that's not the same thing. Like money I didn't have to spend is not me making money. That's not additional income. So there's a difference. Like the way it's presented is as if we made this money and this isn't something we would make money on. In my mind, in my head, this isn't something we would make money on coming from reporting. So I need to get access to this document so I can see what it is that they're talking about because... I think they're just saying, oh, look, we saved this amount of money by doing this initiative where, where they presented it as if we made this money and we didn't. So that's what I'm going to be working on today, reaching out, seeing if I can get this document, trying to um, do this analysis. And I'll probably have to meet up with my manager um, because he has the same understanding as I do, like making money and money that you don't have to spend they're not the same thing so if they're presenting it as though we made this money and no we didn't we just saved money like finance doesn't see that the same way either like just because i didn't have to spend that money doesn't mean i made it but i'll check in with you guys throughout the day give you updates if there are any to give um and we'll go from there all right okay so it is a few hours later and um i'm just taking a quick break from work um, i've had a few packages come in today so i figured i'd unbox them with you i've already opened the box to kind of you know just reduce the noise but i just wanted to show you guys a couple things that i a couple things that i've been ordering so First off, I got some AirPods. These are the original AirPods, like the, um, these are the second generation AirPods, I believe. I think, I don't, I think these are, it's supposed to be the second generation AirPods. That's what I request, or that's what I ordered. But um, they look just like the first generation, which I actually prefer for my ear. Um, when the AirPods Pros came out, I purchase those but I'm not a fan of the ear tips and the airpod what is it the third the airpods three those ones it looks like they just took the airpods pro and removed the ear tip but the shape still looks like the airpods pro if that makes sense and I'm not a fan of the airpods pro so I like this um, Sephora recently had their VIB sale and I ordered a few things that just came in. Um, first thing is the Belief True Cream, the Aqua Bomb. Hold on. Let me see. This is my favorite moisturizer. During the winter time, I get the True Cream, which is white. During the summertime, I like the Aqua Bomb, because it seems it's a little lighter. The um, the True Cream it seems thicker to me, so I just switch it up during the summer, springtime. I also got um, these Olaplex. The Olaplex number zero and the Olaplex if I can talk, Olaplex number three. To try on my hair, I've been having some breakage, so I'm gonna try that out. And then I got a like travel size, um, I got a travel size 
perfume of Flower Bomb Nectar. This is my favorite perfume. I actually should put some more now, but um, yeah, this is my favorite perfume. I love it. It's so sweet smelling, and I'm a sweet smelling type of girl. That's a, the fragrances I tend to go towards. And last, um, I just got some concealer from MAC. I needed some more. I'm running low. I got the Pro Longwear Concealer. I got two different shades. I like to mix them together to get the shade that I am. I got, does it say? Okay, here. I got an NC42 and an NC45. I like to mix them together to get the shade that I am. And they gave me a sample. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. They gave me a Fix Plus, or I guess I picked this sample, a Fix Plus sample, but it's in like a perfume sample bottle. This is so cute. I wish I could refill this. Do y'all know how to refill this? If you do, leave it below, because I will refill this and put this in like my makeup bag and my purse, because this is too cute. Okay, I need to figure out if I can refill this. I might do some search on YouTube, but yeah, I want to refill this. Okay, that is it for my haul. And it's going to be lunchtime soon, so I'll probably check in with you guys after that. He didn't have me do anything. He said um, he would reach out to me later. So I've been looking into, like, I looked over the slides. I can see that he's editing or adding something, but I've been looking at tell you now that if that's something that I need to do it's not going to be ready by May 1st May 2nd what whatever that may be because the Tuesday. It's, um, it's nine o'clock. I got to jump on a call really quick. Um, but after this call or I'll try to, um, I'll try to check in with you guys after this call. Um, I have a team meeting I need to get on. So I'll try to check in with you guys after that. And I may just, I think I'm going to do my makeup during this call because I know I'm looking a hot mess. So I may multitask and show you guys that. We gotta do what we gotta do. I need it. It's going. It feels like it's going to be a four pod type of day, and I'll let you guys know why. If this works. Hey guys, welcome back. It's currently Thursday. It's um, kind of far into the end of the week. I've been trying to record stuff for you guys for a few days now, but I get these clips and then I get busy and forget to come back and check in and give you guys updates. So I may insert just a few clips of the past couple of days of me trying to record something, but I wanted to just give you guys an update and let you know like what's been going on. So last week I was gonna record um, 
a meeting I had with my manager, he kind there was there's been some back and forth as to the work that I'm supposed to be doing. Um, I'm continuing to get work from my old team and my manager saying, no, that's not your job. That's not your role on my team. Um, you will not be doing that work. So he finally kind of like put his foot down and let them know, hey, she's not going to be doing this work. You guys need to figure out who this belongs to. And I was like, finally, it's been a month. I've, I think it's been over a month now that I've been on this new team. And finally, someone's saying, no, you're not going to continue to do work from your old team and do this new job. So he finally told them that. And I thought, okay, cool. He gave me a project to work on his team. I believe I updated you guys with. But then this week, he comes and does a whole 180. I think it's 180, right? He does a 180 and flip-flops. And it's like, pulls me on a call, I think Monday. And it's like, hey, I need you to actually work on that until we figure out what's going on. And they need it by May 1st. May 1st is Sunday. The work that they want me to do, I've never done an assignment like this before. And when they initially came to like me on my old team about this work because this is just like a, they're bringing up something that they told us they didn't need us to do back in February now it's coming back up in April that yeah we do want you guys to do it and in February when they came to us and I said hey we want you to do this and I started to go down the path of okay I don't know anything about this let me do my research let me reach out to people figure out what contacts i need to um be in touch with to get data to get access to these tools and resources when i started down that path they came back to us and said hey no actually we don't need you to do it another team is going to provide us that information so we dropped it did nothing with it and just moved on with my other work so now you're telling me you want me to turn around and get all that work done and do the coding and have this over to you by Sunday, told my new manager, it's not gonna happen. Even if you do want me to do this work, it's not gonna be done by Sunday. I promise you that. It's already Monday. It's late in the day that you're coming to me. It's not gonna be done. I don't even have access to like some of these data, these data sources, these tables, because they're secure tables. They don't give access to everyone. So I, I have to find out if I can get access to it figure out how these things work, figure out how this data looks, all of that. It's not going to be done by Sunday. So he's like, okay, send all that information to me in an email so I can set their ex expectations that they're not going to have it by May 1st. And then you work as quickly as you can and reaching out to people and getting this data. Okay, cool. So I start down that path for a couple of days. And then now they send an email yesterday saying, actually, um, there's been some issues with the data. We don't want to proceed. I'm sorry, what? So I figured, I, I, I feel like this is going to happen again. It's going to come up again. Once they finally resolve the data issue, it's going to come back up. The work still needs to be done. It's not going anywhere just because there's an issue with the data. You're still going to come back and want this done. But you know what? I don't believe that it should be me doing it. Um, but who knows? I... Yeah, I'm a little pissed that I'm starting and doing this work again. And just for y'all to come back and tell me, actually, there's an issue with the data. We're not going, we're not going to proceed. We're going to cancel it. And when they say cancel it, they don't mean indefinitely. They just mean they're going to cancel it temporarily until they get the data fixed. And then they're going to come back and want it. Just watch. They're going to want it again. I just don't know if I'm going to be the one that's going to be working that request is all. So that's my update and my little rant about work. Um, I'm, I have a meeting in a few minutes with my manager. So maybe that will be the topic of discussion because I am so over it. And I'm just like, let me just move on and do the new work on this new team. Or if you guys are saying I'm still going to be doing reporting, then just make a, somebody just needs to make a decision. That's all I'm saying. Make a decision because being in limbo and being in between is not helpful for me or anyone else because no one knows what I'm supposed to be doing not even myself so okay let me close this out here